Hey guys, what's up? NPS 3D here and welcome back to another excited video. So this is NVIDIA Canvas. I'm guessing you've seen it before. NVIDIA offers a tool called NVIDIA Canvas which allow us to, you know, quickly draw just like painting and it will turn that image into a realistic image. But now it goes one step more further and now we can create one 360 environment using this tool. So today I'm going to show you how. So just simply go to the NVIDIA official website. I will put link and go and download the beta version and install it. And now let's open it NVIDIA can. And here it will ask you for standard or a panorama. So I will use a panorama and let's continue. And here it will give you a you know blank sheet like a blank canvas. And first I will uh, you know show you from this uh, variation option like here you can see. Now I can you know quickly select any of a different environment or different lighting condition like this is a greenery with a you know blue sky with a purple sky so you can choose any of these and start the scene so let's start with here and this is the canvas where i will paint so i will select the brush tool and here i can you know bring the slider up and down to increase the brush size and here are the materials which will help me to select what i'm going to paint over here what i'm gonna paint over here okay so in this window is a 360 where i can you know move and see things so let's suppose i wanna you know create a river so here is a river and this is a sea so i will choose the river and i will simply you know let's paint it in the middle so this is the river right let's try to you know make one more river from this side and maybe let's uh make the brush size a little smaller and generate one more river from here like this or let's paint this here now let's increase the brush size and uh, let me make it even more and let's make it more thick river over here like this and yeah this looks little better and just because of 360 this is not painting over here i think so okay let's add some cloud i will just down the brush size and select the cloud and let's paint some cloud over here and you will see we have enough cloud in our scene so let's add some mountain so this is a hill and this is mountain so first let's try hill so i will paint hill over here let's see what it will do and maybe i have to add some height over here i think not good so here you can see it's not looking good so maybe i will just all right so uh let's uh discord changes and let's start with a fresh project so here i will select this this one so i'll select the mountain and let's paint mountain over here and let's see what this will do yeah so this is the mountain and here you can see this is not still not perfect but i think this is this mountain is a cloud so that's why it's creating like this this i think so and for the cloud let's add cloud again and let's paint some cloud and these are stone so i can also create some stone in ground see let's let's add some bushes and guys uh, you have to you know just play with also brush okay brush size i mean so if you will uh, paint with a smaller brush it will create a smaller bushes let's try with some flowers so i will increase the size and first let's let's add some river so okay I will simply paint some river. I don't know if it will look good or not. Yeah, not bad. Obviously not bad. Let's add some flowers and I'm gonna grow flowers near the river. So I will just simply paint this. I don't know if it's looking good. Paint. Uh oh, it's not looking good guys. This is a grass so maybe I can already we have a green. And this is stone wall. Let's try it and maybe i will just make the wall over here it will look but let's see looking good let's paint hide this rock and let's see all right looking good and um, let's undo this and uh, maybe let's try to create the wall over here let's probably hope it will look good so this look obviously good so if you will spend more time you can create a different environment and once you've done you can also change this like here you can see we can change this scene so this looks good. I'm gonna add some cloud because I'm a fan of cloud. <laughs> cloud looks very beautiful. To add some more clouds, do it. And here is an option called variation. So if I'll increase the number, it will, you know, try to, you know, generate a different variation of the same environment. Here you can see. All right. So for now, I'm going to, you know, save this project. 
and you can see here is the reflection into water okay so for now i'm going to export this hdri and let's use this inside blender or you know element 3d so what you have to do next you can press ctrl s and save this project like a 360 map and then here is your option called export click here and it will ask you where you want to export and let's rename this to the stone wall 360 and there are various uh, you know just option for the exr so if you want to exr you can use it or you can also generate a png exr files are super heavy so i'm going to you know export it in exr and also i will export into a png so i have both options okay now let's close this and open blender and let's create roughly few object and the next step is go to the environment map color and choose environment texture open and i'll go to the pictures and these are the 360 so i will use a exr format and open it and go to the render tab and here you can see we have our 360 map but for more realistic result i will change the rendered engine from ev to cycles and change this to the gpu so here you can see let's bump the intensity a little more and here you can see it looks very decent if i will hide the plane here you can see so this is the power of nvidia canvas let's select and change the material a little all right so here you can see this is metal glass and uh, this normal diffuse i am pretty much sure you will love it and for a quick instance if you wanna generate a custom hdri you can use nvidia canvas to make it and let's quickly you know open element 3d this is an iphone let's go to the environment and load uh, and here i will use the png one open and if i go to the environment here you can see we have our environment let's increase the brightness and yeah this is our 360 environment inside element 3d and this looks really cool so our next tutorial is based on iphone coming next so stay tuned for that so i hope you really enjoy this video and i hope you, now you can create your own versions of 360 360 map okay so this is it guys i will see you next time with an amazing tutorial and for more things you can check out our video description okay bye bye take care